Hey friends, it's Kathy with Bodybuilder Ministry. I'm coming to you today to share a quick picture. I believe the Lord wants to use this to build you up and fuel your faith, spur you right on along. So I got a question for you first. Are you under attack? Do you feel like that you are under attack? Like you have just really been coming under attack from the enemy. I know so many people right now who are under attack of the enemy. They are getting it coming from this way and that way. Um, and so many people in the body of Christ. I know I personally have been under attack of the enemy for several months now, and I'm believing God for breakthrough in three areas of my life. So I am right there with you if you feel like you are under attack today, okay? So don't want you to feel like that I'm coming to tell you anything that um, is not going to have compassion for where you are because I definitely have compassion for where you are. My list right now of folks that are um, needing prayer and asking for prayer is growing by the day. Um, the body of Christ as a whole I am seeing more and more and more is under attack. The enemy is, he's attacking us in our physical bodies, through our kids, through our marriages, through our homes, through even our, in our spiritual stuff, in our ministries and stuff. Um, but you know what? I have been um, praying and pressing through some things and um, I've been having some treatment done in for myself with my physical body and in talking to other faith friends and in going through some different things, um, I keep hearing people say, well, you know what your problem is? You just need to relax. I'm like, just relax. Well, okay, there's a novel idea. I think I'll do that. I think I'll just take a trip. How about you? You want to go take a trip today? Let's just go to the beach. How about it? Well, it's not always that easy and so I keep telling myself, okay, just relax. Let's just relax. And so how come it is when I say just relax or I think just relax, I go get in front of the mirror and my countenance is like, or either you're thinking when things are spinning and spinning and going and going and you keep thinking, I'm just going to relax. No, I'm just going to relax. It's all good. We'll just relax. And you take a slow, deep breath, and you really feel like you're trying, but yet you still, it still seems like, oh, like I'm just, I'm not really relaxing. So I started to pray about that thing, and I was like, Lord, I keep hearing that word, just relax. I keep hearing those words. What, what exactly are you trying to tell me here? And so he gave me a picture this morning, y'all, that is so good. I just can't wait to share it with you. So I started remembering back to when my babies, and if you've ever fed a baby before, I want you to go here with me in your mind. Um, when you're feeding a baby, they're in the high chair and you're offering them something on a spoon, probably green, what are they going to do? <laughs> every single time because they don't want that junk. They they just absolutely refuse it right off the bat. So you try again and then <laughs> out it comes. They just, they just won't have any part of it. So what do we start doing? We start trying to make it look more appealing. We try to, to, to distract them. We try to make noises. We try really hard to um, offer maybe something else and then slip in that bite instead at the last minute. We keep trying all these different things. and But that baby knows that it knows that it knows that it is not going to allow that bite to be put in its mouth. And every time it comes, mm, they just spit it right out. They won't even let you get it in their lips. So the Lord showed me a picture of that this morning. And you know what they do after they spit? They turn around and look at you and they just giggle and grin. And they grab this stuff all over their face where you kept trying to put it in and with no success. And just this mess all over their cute little face. And they're just giggling at you. So... I thought about that this morning and I was like, yeah, that's what the enemy keeps doing to just trying to distract us, trying to do anything he can to get just us take just a spoonful of that lie, just a spoonful of that sickness, just a spoonful of that bad news, just a spoonful. If he can just get just a spoonful in, but you know what the Lord showed me? Praise the Lord God. He showed me this morning that we need to just 
Ah, oh, relax. And the acronym he gave me for that is so cool. And I'm gonna put a picture of it up after this down in the comments below. So this is the acronym. Are you ready for relax? Refuse each launched attack exuberantly. Oh, that is so good, y'all. I looked up that word exuberantly, and this is what it means. Effusively and almost uninhibitedly enthusiastic, lavishly abundant, and extremely joyful. Now, you know joy is my favorite word. So, you know I love that definition. I thought that was so good. So, whenever you are under attack, which you can give me a thumbs up if you are right now. I put my hand up there. I know I've been under attack. I want you to think about this. Think about that baby in that high chair. And I want you to think that every time that enemy is trying to make you take that spoonful of sickness or, or whatever the attack is, so many people right now I know are sick. So you just refuse it. Refuse it because see, now I'm gonna tell you, the Lord is reminding me, I wrote a blog one time last year, and I'll post the link to it down here, but it's called A Damn Problem. Y'all, that was a good blog. The Lord gave me that word. Um, the blessings of the Lord are always coming to us, flowing, 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 flowing to us all the time. However, he showed me that the enemy is also always doing something always launching his attacks, always sending his darts, sending his darts. But we have a free will. We get to choose what we're going to do, how we're going to position ourselves in life. And so if we allow the enemy to, with his little things, if we take those darts that he sends like a pebble and we just camp out right there before you know it sometimes it's a rock and then a boulder and the next thing we know we've dammed up the whole project of that flow that well, the Lord's trying to get his blessings to just be continually flowing toward us flowing toward us so I'm going to put the link that's good Lord oh that's good thank you Holy Spirit for reminding me of that I'm gonna put the link for that in these things down here too and some of you folks are making comments, and I'm just getting started and really kind of new with this whole do a live and talk to folks as I go along. So the word for right now is under attack, just relax. Because if you're under attack today, the Lord wants us to relax. He wants us to refuse each launched attack exuberantly. So I'm going to put that down there, but right now I'm going to try really hard to go back up here and see if I can say hey to some people that might be watching and commenting. Irma Foltz, hey girl, what's up? I'm glad to see you on here. Um, mm -mm, sorry. Um, yes, I've been praying with our precious faith friend, April, as well. Yes, praying in the spirit. Oh, yes, praise God. Hey, Christy for Excel, glad to see you. Um, Ann, my new friend Ann, oops, I'm pushing the wrong buttons here. My new friend Ann, I met you the other night. Marilyn, what's up, girl? Love you. So glad to see you on here. Yvonne, oh my word. Blast from the past. Yes, and be intentional about God's word. Just relax. Yes, praise God. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I am so appreciative of you guys. Like, share, whatever. This word is for the body of Christ. I have been so impressed today to cover the body of Christ in healing. The Lord gave me, this is a whole different picture. I'm sorry, I'll get carried away, but he gave me a picture like on a spring picnic where you go out there and you are going to um, take your blanket and just whoosh, and let it settle down on the ground, you know, like you're going to spread out your picnic and everything. And when I got a picture of that earlier today, I saw that in the spirit of us just doing that like a blanket over the body of Christ of healing. <sighs> of healing because so many people are sick right now. So we speak healing in Jesus' name. 
to every single body. We say body of Christ, manifest the healing of God that is already yours in Jesus' name. To each person who's dealing with sickness, I just speak to your body in the name of Jesus right now. And I say be made whole. And to your, to your body, I say manifest your healing now today in Jesus' name. So I love you all. I thank you for watching. I'm going to finish and put those things I promised down in the bottom. And I'm really excited and glad to see um, those of you who have joined joined us today. Thanks so much. And um, until next time, be encouraged and know that you are loved. Bye.